User beta test band has been requesting this video for a few days now. Basically, when you update your Sprint Galaxy Nexus, I don't know if it happens to the other models, but the radios easily become corrupted and you have to flash the radio, which you can flash the radio either in ADB or the easy way that I prefer, I just spit in your custom recovery. It's just an update.zip that you apply just like a ROM and it flashes your radio. Now I'm going to tell you one of the most frustrating things is when you flash AOKP it says no service. So that leads me to believe that I'm supposed to see the word sprint at the bottom like you would see with a stock ROM. But that's not the case. Actually even if it says no service you may still have service. You have to go to the custom carrier label and change it to whatever you want. But trust me even when it says no service you can still use data, you can still talk on the phone, everything is fine. Based on my experience, I would recommend downloading this update.zip and saving it on your SD card. And when you flash a ROM for the first time, go ahead and include the radio in it too. I'm telling you, it's all over the internet. The radio on the Galaxy Nexus easily gets corrupted and that's why you have data issues. When I very first flashed it, blah, 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 blah. when I very first flashed it, just... When I very first flashed it, I didn't have data and it took a good 5-6 minutes of the ROM being booted up for it to actually have data. Build 38, no issues at all. And I highly recommend AOKP over CM9 to be honest with you. There's nothing wrong with CM9, CM9's awesome and all, but when you go from AOKP to CM9, it feels so plain. There's not nearly as many options, you can't customize it the way you can with AOKP, it's just... I would use CM9 if AOKP wasn't available. <laughs> But I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking. I know you don't wanna see my other face anymore. And if you notice anything new, you can go to my second channel where I talk about it more. I'm not gonna talk about it here for 4,000 freaking people to hear and see. Can, I cannot believe that. I'll put them up on the screen, but this person right here was actually my 4,000th subscriber. It's unreal, it's unbelievable. Huge shout out to Flossie Carter and Zeno Max. You two, I just got another subscriber right now. This is ridiculous. Thank you so much for shouting me out in your video, Flossie Carter. And I'll tell you right now, your ROM review is better than mine, by far. Let's get to the video. This video is going to be pretty simple. If you notice with AOKP and CM9, your phone says no service and data is a pain in the butt. What you're going to have to do is connect to Wi-Fi and download Goo Manager Beta from the market. I'm sorry, Google Play Store, and then you allow it. I have the files already on my SD card, so I'm going to flash ROMs. I already have a recovery installed, add zip from another location, and the full radio zip right there. There it is, SD card, full radios, and then order flash selected, and flash. Yes. Because what happens when you install a custom ROM, that's AOSP, the radios get corrupted pretty easily. Looks like we're almost done. It still says no service. I didn't want to have to record like this, but I can't get screencast to work. It records sound, but no video. I tried it on normal and high quality. But anyways, when I bring down the notification bar, you'll see that it says Amy. To change that, you just press and hold right here, and it takes you to your settings. Press ROM control, go to general UI, and then go down here to custom carrier label. All because it says no service doesn't mean you don't have service. You need to change it. It doesn't do sprint automatically, or at least it didn't for me. I can make calls and use data just fine. I get a terrible freaking signal, but if I had to, I could use it. There is no issues with Build 38 and data. If you like this video and it helps you out, please give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. This is What Would Josh Do and I'm out.